Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. We have a fascinating guest in studio. It's Michael Galasso. He's an attorney from Schiller, Ducanto, and Fleck. But before you join that wonderful firm, you are you have been a judge with DuPage County. You were an appellate judge at, um, for District 2. Very impressive. So tell me, what was probably one of the, the most impressive or most impactful things you've done it, as a judge? Well, I have to tell you a little antidote or a story because sure. I was a new judge and there was a commotion, commotion outside of my courtroom and I didn't know what it was and I sent the bailiff out and he said, Judge, you have to come out here. And I went out there and there were two people with about a 10 or 11 year old boy. Each one was holding an arm and saying, no, he's supposed to go with me. And I thought, this is wrong. Mm -hmm. We have to find a better way to handle issues regarding custody and visitation. And uh, a week or so later, I thought about things, and I thought, if I can get some psychologists together who deal with uh, recommendations to the court and, and some of the lawyers who are generally practicing in law, and get them to agree to a form a committee to develop a program that would allow people, when there's controversy and issues of visitation custody, to say, let's go to a, a, a specifically named psychologist who will assist us in trying to come up with a solution. Uh, they weren't providing therapy. They were really providing a report to the court mm -hmm. and to the attorneys to help them understand what would be in the children's best interest because that's the goal of every judge in a custody and divorce case is to determine what's in a child's best interest or the children's best interest. This program was extremely successful. In, in the years prior to this program, judges were trying most of the uh, the volume of their work was in custody uh, disputes. Uh, I had, for example, had 13 trials the year before this program. Two years after this program, I had one custody trial because they were all getting resolved peacefully, quietly, and everyone was satisfied. The lawyers were happy, the, the litigants were happy, and the kids were happy, and that was important to me. Uh, as an offshoot of that, what we would found out also was that people that go through a divorce without a custody or visitation problem and then have problems later, don't know how to, how to cope with it. So we developed another education program, which we've still exist in, which is called Caring, Coping, and Children, which provides people uh, a, a forum to understand uh, the traumas of a divorce and how it adversely affects the family and the children, the aunts, the uncles, the grandparents, everyone surrounding the family, and how to deal with some of those issues. The result of that has been very good because the children benefit substantially from it. Now you've been a trendsetter with, with custody um, issues for the court as a judge, and now you find that you are, are working for this great law firm, uh, which also specializes in divorce and family law. Tell me a little bit about about how you approach it. I think your firm has a unique way of, of yes, dealing. Yes, we do. And, at, and when I decided I didn't want to be on the bench any longer, I, want, I, I, was, I considered myself a socially active judge. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go with a firm that I knew would have the same goals and theories and, and compassion that I had about helping families. And the Schiller DeCano Fleck firm practiced law before me on numerous occasions. And I saw the way they handled cases not just the intellectual way they handle cases, but the compassionate way they handle cases. Uh, they were concerned about their clients. I oftentimes would see them come to court a week or two before a trial with the client and just have the client sit in the courtroom and, and, and see things. And I, so I asked them why they did that. I asked one of the attorneys why they did that. And they said, well, you know, Jez, this woman has never been in a courtroom before. And, I, and really, when you stop to think about it, about 80% of the people that go through a divorce have never been in a courtroom. And so to bring them there, to let them see what their surroundings are like, to let them see that the judge is just a regular person, he or she, and where a witness sits and where the lawyer sits takes away that anxiety and that anxiousness that they have when they walk in on the day of their life that they have to be in court and explain their story uh, that they can be more so they can be more comfortable. Uh, in addition to that, I, I knew with the firm that they knew technically how to handle cases, but they also knew because of their uh, uh, sp uh, specifically and, and exquisite uh, research teams how to gauge the value of a case, how to know what the norm was. Uh, on a daily basis, we monitor 
the trial judges in both Cook, DuPage, Lake, Kane, uh, and, and Kankakee counties and their decisions. It's, and we also do that with the appellate courts and the state Supreme Court. So we have a pretty good handle as to what the norm is and we can then assist the client in making sure they don't overreach. The worst thing a lawyer can do with a client is to allow them to overreach in a case because what that will result in is a trial, a loss of a lot of family money as a result of the trial. And so it's our job as attorneys, as I see it, to let them know what the norm is and to try to get them to achieve the goal that they'd like to achieve. An example is if a, if a guy comes in the office and says, uh, I've decided I want custody of my two boys who are 9 and 11, and I want full custody. And you say, well, what about the mother? How is she? Well, she's okay, but I want full custody. What do you do for a living? I'm a manufacturer's rep. And how much time do you spend on a road? Four or five days a week. Well, you have to be able to sit down with that man and say, you're not going to get custody. It's, it's impossible. We'll work out so you have a lot of time with your children, but you're not going to get custody. If we did the other thing and just said, okay, we'll see what we can do, we're going to destroy the family. Well, it seems like there's a lot of compassion with your firm, that it's more than just the divorce. It's compassion and everything that goes with it. Because as you mentioned, it's 80% have never been in a courtroom, but probably just as high a percentage who've never had any really legal action prior to a divorce. That's true. That's true. Most people uh, don't ever talk to a lawyer unless they're going to have a will drawn or mm -hmm. something of that nature. Uh, and so you have to understand the dynamics of a family and, and this firm, Shalir to Cannon Fleck, I can say that a million times, I love them, I know they love me, because that's what they strive to do. They strive to help the family get through a crisis. If you were going to offer um, someone a piece of, a piece of advice who's, who's facing a divorce, what would it be? I would say the most important thing to do is search for a lawyer that you can feel comfortable with and that you can trust. And, and and the other thing is, don't try to negotiate the case with your spouse because you'll wind up in arguments and make some of those arguments irreparable. Well, I think that's a great piece of advice. And, you know, I can just tell, Mike, from sitting across from you that you would be a guy that I could trust. So I appreciate that. I appreciate your time. Wonderful to meet you. We're going to be right back with more Business Connections. Stay tuned.